idea with, with the kid, with, with Corey, was that maybe they could spin him off. So, I mean, this is my idea. I didn't have this conversation with the studio. I just thought if I leave it open that way and give him that look at the end, that maybe uh, that will be a good thing and create a part five, six, seven. Well, it was an interesting story. What happened with that was they had originally asked me to come back and reprise the role and do the entire sequel. Uh, but unfortunately, I was working on Goonies at the time, or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, working on Goonies with Donner and Spielberg at the time, and we were shooting like six day weeks for like six months. Like, well, we want to shoot you on this, and we'd love to get, you know, do it, but, you know, if we can't start for another six months, we're going to have to find another solution. we got to get this movie out. So I said, well, you know, I'll do whatever I can, but obviously I'm a little tied up. So they said, okay. So what they did is they had me come in and work on a Sunday. Let's rip this sucker open. We gotta get a look at the main man. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. So I'm working six day weeks on Goonies, and on my seventh day, I had to shoot Friday part five, then go back to Goonies. So I think it was the only time in my career as an actor, just working for SAG, where I actually shot 13 days in a row without a break. And the worst part of it is when I shot the scene for Friday part five, uh, they had turned on some you know, it was supposed to be raining, but of course it wasn't raining. It was the middle of summer and we were out in the valley. And they had no rain machine because it was a small budget. And of course it was a skeleton crew working on a seventh day, right? So what they did is they hooked up a hose to a, you know, a sprinkler valve in the backyard of whoever's house we were shooting, which actually happened to be a neighbor, neighbor of mine. And they set up the, the sprinkler contraption to the hose and then connected it to one of those big faucets that they use for the rain machines and just, you know, let it pour. So not only am I working on my seventh day before going back into a full another work week, but I'm standing there freezing cold, you know, and there is no Jason there being put into a, a cemetery plot. It's me standing in my neighbor's backyard, freezing my ass off, going, Aah! you know, and they're like, okay, now you're seeing him come out of the grave. Now he's coming after you. Now he's chasing you, you know, and I'm just, oh, okay, yeah, okay, great. Can I get dry now? Thanks, you know. Uh, so it wasn't the most pleasurable memory of my career, but uh, it was brief, short and sweet. <laughs> you know, a lot of people have said to me, well, you know, how did you feel about that guy being you grown up in part five? Do you think, and then they had somebody else play me grown up in part six. Uh, my character kind of went on for years. The way I always say it to the fans and to people is, if I had my druthers, Jason and I have some history. Obviously, my character and him were connected very tightly together. I see it a bit kind of like uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers. I think they should do a Friday 2-0, you know? Uh, where we kind of skip past the middle ones. Let's say part four happened and then you could even say part five happened because nothing really was resolved with the character at the end of part five. I thought it was a pretty good movie as well. I, I thought it was very suspenseful and I liked the fact that Jason wasn't Jason for a change, but it was somebody pretending to be Jason. <laughs> But the way I would, you know, wish it to be, if I could go back and do it again or whatever, is that we would kind of just kind of skip over six, seven, eight, nine, and kind of pick up the plot line right after five and have me come back as the character as Tommy Jarvis and do it grown up and, uh, you know, have that kind of final confrontation. I think that would be a lot of fun.